Avebury, Wiltshire, one of the largest and best known stone circles in the world. Avebury brings awe to over a quarter million tourists and spiritual seekers a year. I spent the night in a local lay-by and arrived early enough for the rare treat of exploring this monument with only the lambing sheep and local birds for companions. I welcome you to come along, you and I alone in Avebury. I'll try not to talk too much, but there is much history to share of this most amazing and enigmatic ancient site. Enjoy the sights and sounds alone in Avebury. The rows of stones here are noticeably paired, one unshaped and flat-topped opposed by a peaked lozenge-shaped stone. They are thought to represent the male and female principle. They create a long, dramatic walkway to a stone called the Devil's Chair, located at one of the entrances of the main site. Many burials and deposits were found under these stones, almost exclusively on the west side of the track. The many concrete pillars on the site are all that remain of some of the stones. Throughout the centuries, particularly the 17th, the stones were destroyed in the name of piety and reused in construction, such as in this chapel which stands within the site and is still used by locals today.
this enormous 65 ton stone is called the Swindon, or Diamond Stone. Situated next to the road that crosses Avebury, it is said to cross the road at midnight, presumably looking for its even larger partner, destroyed and removed centuries ago. In the background, we see the trees that inspired Tolkien's Ents. This stone, recognized by the so-called Gunsight Top, revealed skull and rib fragments buried at its base. Sandstone discs such as this are associated in Avebury and elsewhere with burials. Somewhat out of the way and hard to find is this stone. Now used as a playground for lambs, it is said to have been used to lay on by women wishing pregnancy. The Devil's Chair obviously named by Christians to cast aspersions on the pagan religion, sits on the outer ring of Avebury, facing out, directly by the entrance. The apparent processional walkway leads directly to this stone. Sitting here, one can easily imagine the whole of Avebury gleaming white with chalk as it was originally, as people from all around the area take the processional route through the gap in the embankment into Avebury, each observed by whatever important person sat in this chair. Between the Devil's Chair Stone and the trees that inspired Tolkien's Ents is this end of the ditch and embankment. A dwarf, as early literature describes, appears to have been buried here thousands of years ago, possibly as a sacrifice. Nearby, this stone, called the Ring Stone, is said to have been hand-shaped for the purpose of accommodating a rope with which to tie down sacrifices.
a testament to the ill luck of those who knock over the stones, the barber surgeon stone has an incredible story to tell. In the year 1307, a barber and surgeon was convinced to finish the work of others and knock over this stone. Things went badly and he was killed and buried instantly as the stone fell on top of him. It appears that nobody attempted to retrieve the body until the 1930s. They found coins dating 1307 and surgical tools on his body. The body was transferred to the Royal College of Surgeons shortly after discovery, where it was destroyed entirely in World War II. Thank you for joining me on this tour of Avebury. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider subscribing. It really helps make the channel possible. Stay tuned for the West Kennet Long Barrow, a stunning burial chamber located near Avebury in which I found quite a surprise. Thanks for watching.